This video will guide you through getting started in Solid Edge. There will be differences between Solid Edge and other 3D CAD packages you've used. However, once you learn the basics, you will soon discover how quick and easy Solid Edge really is. Once you've opened Solid Edge, select the Solid Edge icon in the top left hand corner. Select New and Isometric Part. This video will look at getting started in Synchronous. You can choose to start with a sketch or with a primitive shape. To add a primitive shape, go to the Home toolbar and find the box icon. If you hover over the icon, you will get a quick instructional video. Press F1 for context specific help to open. You can add a box, cylinder or sphere. I will select box. You are then taken into the command and the command bar appears. The prompt bar at the bottom of the screen guides you through the steps to create the shape. In this case, click for the first point. This point needs to be on your chosen sketch plane. Underneath your cursor, you will see that green alignment lines extend out from the cursor. As you hover over planes, the alignment lines change direction to indicate the orientation of your sketch. Other 3D CAD software will prompt you to pick a plane, so this is where you might find that the interface is different and you are uncertain where you are sketching. To make Solid Edge feel more familiar, you may want to turn on your reference planes. Underneath the cursor, the plane you are about to select highlights in orange. To lock to one plane, select F3 or click on the padlock icon while the plane is highlighted. The padlock symbol appears on your screen to show that you are locked onto a plane. On the command bar, you can select how you want to draw the square. I will choose by centre. Click the centre point and then move the cursor to a corner. Holding shift will maintain a square box. Clicking at the corner will confirm the shape. Alternatively, you can type the values and confirm them with enter. Confirm the angle with enter. The icon highlighted in orange shows that the box will extrude symmetrically. You can use the shift key to toggle this on or off or deselect and select it with the mouse. Select a position for the extrude depth or type in a value. I will switch off the reference planes now. The box has been created and a box feature has been added to the pathfinder. PMI dimensions have also been added. You can turn these on and off in the pathfinder or use them to drive the size of the box. Select the number to change the value. The highlighted arrow shows the side that will change symmetrically to the right or the left. Selecting the padlock will lock a dimension so that it cannot be edited. It will turn red. Unlocked dimensions will change as you make synchronous edits. By moving this face, because of the symmetric design intent, the height of the box increases about the top plane. The dimension that is locked does not change during the synchronous edit. Deleting features is easy. Just select a group of faces or the feature in the pathfinder and select delete. Now we will look at getting started by using sketches. You may be familiar with starting by using an extrude. This is how you can start in the ordered environment, however in synchronous you need to start with a sketch. On the home toolbar, select a sketch tool and then in the same way as for the primitive shape, select the plane to sketch on by clicking the padlock icon or using F3. If you would like to view directly on your sketch plane, click the corresponding face on the quick view cube or use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl and H. As you are creating regions for your solid form, it doesn't matter whether you trim your sketch geometry or not. Relationships can also be added to sketch geometry from the Relate toolbar. With Maintain Relationships and Relationship Handles turned on, as you sketch you will see relationships being added to your sketch geometry. You can box select these to delete them if they are no longer required. Dimensions you add to your sketch will be brought through to the 3D model. Quick Pick is also useful in Solid Edge. If you are having difficulty selecting, hover over the item you are trying to select, wait for the Quick Pick icon, right click and choose the item. 
clicking the padlock or F3 exits lock to plane, as does creating a 3D shape. When you've finished your sketch, you can either select the command for a solid feature or select regions and start modeling. I will select extrude. Select the regions you wish to extrude. The extrude toolbar allows you to edit your extrude settings, finite or from two, symmetric or one-sided. As this is the first solid body, add and cut is greyed out. To begin with, you can only add geometry. You will notice in Solid Edge that there aren't any functions for extruded cut and revolved cut in synchronous. You just toggle this setting on the extrude command bar. To complete the extrude, right click to accept the regions, left click to select the depth or key in a value and enter. I will just use escape to exit the command and show how if you pick the regions you are automatically taken into the extrude command. Use control to select multiple regions. Dragging the centre of the extrude handle to an edge changes the command to a revolve. You can also swap between the two on the command toolbar. By using the regions you have fewer button clicks. Click on the extrude arrow and define the depth of your feature. The sketch regions that have been used are consumed and moved to the used sketch area. These sketches are not linked to the features. To edit your part, edit the solid directly. Dimensions added to the sketch have been converted to PMI dimensions. Once you've learned how to get started in Solid Edge, move on to learning about editing PMI dimensions, using face relationships and adding other design features. Soon you'll be creating parts and making changes faster than ever. If there's a feature you cannot find, use the command finder to search for the feature you're looking for. For more help and guidance, click on the Learn Solid Edge pane. You can choose a tutorial, learning path or tour the user interface. For more useful videos about getting started in Solid Edge, view our Solid Edge user training playlist on YouTube. Thank you for watching. Thank you.